And there was an emotional reunion for the pop group Girls Aloud yesterday as they joined forces with the charity Cancer Research UK to celebrate the life of their former band member Sarah Harding. Yeah, less than a year after the singer's death from breast cancer at the age of just 39. Thousands of fans joined Cheryl, Nadine Coyle and Nicola Roberts for a very special five-kilometre walk to raise money for the charity. Daniel Rosney was in Hyde Park for the event and has sent us this report. This was the first time since Sarah Harding's death that Girls Aloud were able to publicly celebrate her life. As part of Britain's most successful girl band in chart history, Sarah was an idol to many. We all needed to come together. It's an amazing opportunity to come together with the fans, the people that supported Sarah through her illness and get together to fight, you know. So And also to, to like raise awareness to that misconception of it's not just older women now, it's not older women who need to be cautious and going and getting checked. Like Sarah was 38, 39 mm -hmm. when she got diagnosed. I never felt such helplessness in my entire life as to how, how can I help when we know the diagnosis yeah. is dire. I think for us as well, like years being in the group, like we always managed to face whatever it was. Yeah, exactly. Like whatever the mountain was that we needed to fix, like we managed to fix it and get through it. But this was just something that we it couldn't fix. Yeah. yeah. even prepare t for today without Sarah. It doesn't feel yeah. like girls allowed without Sarah. You it's just like mind your own business and then occasionally you get together and do stuff and you're like oh my god that's yeah. right she's not here. In some way you can imagine that she's, I often think of her as in like a, a health retreat in Thailand somewhere and she's going to FaceTime me and I'm going to like see the view and see what she's been up to and then you think oh god you know you see stuff like her picture and you're like oh no that's not the way it is. Since she's died, when I've ever been on a night out and the promise comes on, people scream, here I am walking from Rose. Here I am, walking from Rose, wondering where I'm going to see you again. So What's it like when you hear her on the radio now? It's sad still. It's still really, yeah, really sad. it's a bit triggering to be honest. That I was like, even hearing you talking about it, you're like, oh no, no. Um, it's just still so surreal to think that this has actually happened, that the fact that I mean, why it hasn't even here, been a year, has it? No, so she's it's, gone. it's still very, very much that process of trying to take it in. One in two people in the UK will develop cancer at some point in their lives, and the band now want to help others who are in the same situation they were in with Sarah. There's no lesson in school that's going to teach you what to do. It's just trying to be there in the moment. The person, you know, that's even going through it themselves doesn't know how they want people to react. So the only thing is just do whatever you can. Things like this is lovely. You know, as you say, one in two people, that's just not acceptable. Even with the amount of research that's already been done and the amount of money already raised, and it's still not enough. I thought we should have run it because it is a race, but these two are like, we need some more. No, we want to, we no, want to we make want it to the end, we want basically. It, yes. That's sad. But it's... also, like, take it in and converse with people. There's so, yeah. I've just saw fans that have been Girls Aloud fans for years, but from, like, Israel, there's someone from Spain, they've flown here specifically for this. I don't want to jog past them and sweaty and puffing and panting. I'd rather talk yeah. to them. That's my excuse. Mm -hmm. So I'll just walk at a fast pace. Mm -hmm. I might jog a couple of times. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Bandmate Kimberly Walsh was unable to be at the event but took part abroad with her family, streaming to fans online. This race has been put on in memory of Sarah, but for those who've raised money, they're also likely to know at least one other person who's been diagnosed with cancer. And that's why events like this are put on to help raise awareness and to do something positive in the memory of friends and family. Thank you.
Hello, you're more than welcome. Bye. You feel helpless, and when you feel helpless, you feel like you're lost and, and there's nothing you can do to help that person go through what they're going through. So this was my way to, you know, salute Sarah and say, you know what, for your onward journey, I'm here to support you and I'll never let your, your name die down. I'm not going to lie, it's the first to say that I've ran a race with my idols, um, but amazing, so amazing. I had so much fun. <coughs> This run may be over, but the race for life continues for thousands who will be diagnosed with cancer this year. We miss her very much, but she's up there shining down on us now. She definitely is. Daniel Rosny, BBC News. And well done to everyone who took part in the Race for Life yesterday. Absolutely. Walking, running, doesn't matter. However, wherever, well done.